Good evening, everybody. Uh, welcome to this evening's Christmas quiz. Uh, thank you for everyone that's joining us. Uh, we are live on our North Wales Wildlife Trust YouTube channel. And also, good evening, got everybody. Uh, welcome to uh, joining us. I've got something going on very strange here with my sound. Excuse me. Um, if that sounds strange to anybody, <laughs> we've got gremlins in the system. Uh, do say something in the chat, somebody. Do let me know if the sound sounds strange. Um, I think I've got, I think I've sorted that. Of course, things won't run smoothly. <laughs> so um, we're just going to wait for a couple of minutes to make sure everybody um, is joining us. Um, you can't see anyone. Can you hear me? I'm, I'm getting messages saying you can't see me. You can see me. You can hear me. <laughs> We've got, I tell you what I'll do. Let me stop sharing. You should be able to see me now. And let me try something different to share my screen. Um, you can see and hear me. Brilliant stuff. That's good. <laughs> And I want you to be able to see um, my PowerPoint as well, so that you can, um, so that you know what's going on, so that you can see the quiz questions. Um, bear with me one second. Okay. Well, we've got this. All righty. So this evening's quiz, while I just sort out the obvious technical difficulties, hopefully you should be able to see me. You should be able to see the uh, quiz on the screen. Um, I think we're good to go. All right. If there is any more technical difficulties, I can see the chat. So uh, we should be good to go. Right. Brilliant stuff. Um, so we've got five rounds of questions this evening um, and all of these questions have been written by um, the young people on our youth forum. So um, there's some Christmassy rounds and festive rounds and then there's some other kind of uh, fun rounds as well. So um, hopefully you've all got pen and paper at the ready. Each round's got 10 questions apart from one which has got a few extra bonus ones because our incredible young people got overly excited doing their quiz round. Um, so we'll go through the questions and then we'll, we'll do the answers at the end. Um, so if you are ready, we've got round one is Festive Birds, um, which has been written by Ellen from IU4. So question one. Where do turtle doves get their name from? Where do turtle doves get their name from? Okay, question two. In the 12 Days of Christmas song, what type of bird are the collie birds or calling birds most likely to be? In the song, The 12 Days of Christmas, what type of bird are the collie birds or calling birds most likely to be? Okay. Question three. Not a festive question, but an interesting question nonetheless. What is the UK's smallest bird? What is the UK's smallest bird? Question four, how long will a goose sit on its eggs for? How long will a goose 
sit on its eggs. Question five, what is a baby sandpiper called? What is a baby sandpiper called? Question six, true or false? Snipes can make a drumming sound. True or false, snipes can make a drumming sound. Question seven, true or false, swans will often paddle with one leg. True or false, swans will often paddle with one leg. Question eight, true or false, the red-legged partridge is native to the UK. True or false, the red-legged partridge is native to the UK. Question nine, what colour are Robin's eggs? What colour? are Robin's eggs. And question 10, true or false, wild turkeys can run at speeds of up to 15 miles an hour. True or false, Wild turkeys can run at speeds of up to 15 miles an hour. So that's the last question for round one. But I can see in the chat on our Zoom webinar, surely can't see anyone. It's probably your settings. Uh, if you can't see me, you'll have to, you, you can probably change it so that you can. Uh, see my face and the, the screen that I'm sharing as well. Okay, let's move on. Uh, round two has been written uh, by Jake and Michelle from our youth forum and is on strange species. Uh, they requested that they write this round because they found some really interesting questions. So there are some very, very hard questions in this round. Um, there might be a little bit of guesswork going on. Um, so let's get going with round two. Strange species is the round. So question one, uh, in the picture that you can see on the screen, what species is this? Is it A, Yoda, B, Han Solo, or C, Chewbacca? So looking at the picture on the screen, what species is this? Is it A, Yoda, B, Han Solo? or C, Chewbacca. Question two, which cartoon is this fungi named after? A, The Simpsons, B, Peanuts, or C, SpongeBob SquarePants? A, Simpsons, B, Peanuts, or C, SpongeBob SquarePants. Question three. 
how many species are named after Charles Darwin? Is it A, 60, B, 140, or C, 250? How many species are named after Charles Darwin? Is it A, 60, B, 140, or C, 250? Okay, question four. What is the name of this giant salamander pictured here? Is it A, a hellbender, B, a sidewinder, or C, a firewalker? What is the name of this giant salamander? A hellbender, a sidewinder, or a firewalker? Question five, which of these isn't real? A goblin shark, a goblin beetle, or a goblin spider? Which of these isn't real? A, a goblin shark, B, a goblin beetle, or C, a goblin spider? Question six, which of these is the odd name of a species of Australian wasp? A, ahaha, ah, ha. B, Eureka, or C, tada. Which of these is the odd name of a species of Australian wasp? Ahaha, ah, ha. Eureka, or tada. Question seven, which of these is a chicken? A, a mountain chicken, B, a chicken turtle, or C, old English pheasant fowl? Which of these is a chicken? A, mountain chicken, B, chicken turtle, C, old English pheasant fowl. Question eight, which of these isn't real? A, a wonderpus octopus, B, a dumbo octopus, or C, a chicken octopus? Which of these isn't real? A, wonderpus octopus, B, dumbo octopus, or C, chicken octopus? I told you they were hard. Okay, question number nine. What type of armadillo is this in the picture? Is it A, a dwarf giant armadillo? B, a pink fairy armadillo? Or C, a screaming hairy armadillo? So in the picture, can you see a dwarf giant armadillo, a pink fairy armadillo, or a screaming hairy armadillo? Question 10. Which of these isn't real? A, a sarcastic fringe head. B, a dazzled clam, or C, a tasseled wobbegong? Which of these isn't real? A, a sarcastic fringe head, B, a dazzled clam, or C, a tasseled wobbegong? I can tell you all will be revealed in the answers. I've got, uh, I've got explanations for these really strange things. 
Okay, this is our one round that's got extra questions on. So I think we're going up to 15 for this round. Question 11, which of these is not a bird? A, Hutu, B, Hupo, or C, Hutu? Which of these is not a bird? A, Hutu, B, Hupo, C, Hutu. Question 12. Which Hulock gibbon is this in the picture? Is it A, Palpatine, B, Jar Jar, or C, Skywalker? Which Hulock gibbon is this? A, Palpatine, B, Jar Jar, or C, Skywalker? Question 13, which Lovecraftian horror has a termite parasite named after it? Excuse my pronunciation, A, Dagon, B, Cthulhu, or C, Yog sothoth Thank you to the writers of this round for Challenging my pronunciation. I've got no idea what this question is asking. Which Lovecraftian horror has a termite parasite named after it? A. Dagon, B. Cthulhu, or C. Yog Sothoth? Question 14. How did the raspberry crazy ant get its name? A, it's named after its red colour. B, it's named after the fact it eats raspberries and behaves in a crazy manner. Or C, it's named after Tom Raspberry. How did the raspberry crazy ant get its name? A, it's named after its red colour. B, it's named after the fact it eats raspberries uh, and behaves in a crazy manner. Or C, it's named after Tom Raspberry. And question 15, the last in this round. Which singer does not have a species named after them? A, Beyonce, B, Taylor Swift, or C, Lady Gaga? Which singer does not have a species named after them? A, Beyonce, B, Taylor Swift, or C, Lady Gaga? Okay, just have a couple of minutes um, before we move on to the next round. And the next round will be a botanical Christmas. So just one minute.
Okay. Right, round three. Okay. So uh, we've got Botanical Christmas. This one has been, um, the first five questions have been written by Emily on our youth forum and the second five have been written by myself. So question one is guess the Christmas botany. So you can see a picture on the screen, um, which has been uh, made to kind of look a little distorted. Which plant of Christmas is that representing? And the same for question two. Yes, the Christmas botany. What picture is that showing? Question three, another picture showing some sort of botany, Christmas botany. What is that showing? And question four. Question in the chat, what's botany? Plants. What plants are these showing? Plants of Christmas. So what plant, what Christmas plant is that showing? Question five. Our final plant to try and work out what it is. Okay, question six. Mistletoe is used as decoration during Christmas. How does it grow in the wild? A, as a tree, B, as a bush, C, as a parasite on other trees, or D, in water? How does mistletoe grow in the wild? As a tree, as a bush, as a parasite on other trees or in water. Question seven. The Latin name for holly is Ilex aquifolium. What does this mean? A with red berries, B, with pointed leaves, C, festive foliage, or D, with leaves which water runs off. The Latin name for holly is Ilex aquifolium. What does this mean? A, with red berries, B, with pointed leaves, C, festive foliage, with leaves which run which water runs off question eight which of the following statements is false about ivy it is a parasite which damages and kills trees it is an essential food source for insects and birds in autumn and winter there are two subspecies of ivy in the UK, and it is a symbol of fidelity. So which of the following statements is false about ivy? A, it's a parasite which damages and kills trees. B, it's an essential food source for insects and birds. C, there are two subspecies of ivy in the UK. D, it is a symbol of fidelity. Question nine, which country did the custom of Christmas trees originate? A, Norway, B, Denmark, 
C, Canada, or D, Germany? Which country did the custom of Christmas trees originate? Norway, Denmark, Canada, or Germany? And question 10. Who eats the most Brussels sprouts? A, Belgians, B, the British, C, the Americans, or D, the Germans? Who eats the most Brussels sprouts? Belgians, British, Americans, or Germans? Okay, round four. Uh, round four has been written by our two uh, litter picking enthusiasts on our youth forum, Shannon and Caitlin. Um, so a not festive round, but an important round to kind of raise awareness of litter and plastics. Um, so question one, by what percentage did the amount of plastic bags given out at supermarkets decrease when the 5p charge was brought in? Was it A, 20%, B, 40%, C, 60%, or D, 80%? So by what percentage did the amount of plastic bags given out at supermarkets decrease when the 5p charge was brought in. Question two. Of the five known ocean garbage patches, which is the largest? Is it A, the Indian Ocean garbage patch, B, the Pacific garbage patch, C, the North Atlantic garbage patch, or D, the Mediterranean Sea garbage patch. Of the five known ocean garbage patches, which is the largest? Indian Ocean, Pacific, North Atlantic, or Mediterranean? Question three, which one of these items has more than doubled in findings on Welsh beaches between 2020 and 2021? Is it A, cigarette butts, B, plastic bottles, C, cotton bud sticks, or D, plastic bags? Which of these items has more than doubled in findings on Welsh beaches between 2020 and 2021. Question four, how much plastic is currently recycled? I'm not entirely sure if that's in Wales, in the UK or in the world actually. Take a guess. <laughs> How much plastic is currently recycled? Question five. How much of the plastic waste disposed of every year is for single use only? A, 19%, B, 11%, C, 50%, or D, 32%. How much of the plastic waste disposed of every year is for single use only? Question six. Approximately, Americans use how many plastic drinking straws per day? A, 25,000, B, 100,000, C, 250,000, or D, uh, 500 million. So how many, approximately, how many plastic drinking straws per day are used in America? Question seven, 
how many tap water sources have been found to contain plastic particles? A, between 10 and 20%. B, between 30 and 40%. C, between 50 and 60%. Or D, between 70 and 90%. How many tap water sources have been found to contain plastic particles? Question eight. In 2021, what percentage of litter collected by the Marine Conservation Society in the UK was plastic? A, 89%. B, 67%. C, 75%. Or D, 55%. In 2021, what percentage of litter collected by the Marine Conservation Society in the UK was plastic? Question nine. On average, how much plastic debris is there in the ocean per square mile? A, 46,000. B, 23,000, C, 75,000, or D, 38,000. On average, how much plastic debris is there in the ocean per square mile? And the last question. Uh, how many years does it take for a single piece of plastic to decompose? A, 100 years, B, 100,000 years, C, 50,000 years, or D, never. How many years does it take for a single piece of plastic to decompose? Okay, that's the last question of that round. And before we move on to our final round, a shameless plug for our... Um, upcoming litter pick event plast off 2022 on saturday the 15th of january um that's the real reason why we've put this round in here so we can plug our litter pick event head to our website for more details on that to book your place okay so our final round is christmas trivia not wildlife related really at all but it's christmasy so right Question one, in what year was Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer created? Was it A, 1946, B, 1953, or C, 1939? In what year was Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer created? Question two, what is the top selling Christmas song of all time? Is it A, Jingle Bell Rock, B, White Christmas, or C, Christmas Time? What's the top selling Christmas song of all time? Jingle Bell Rock by Bobby Helms, White Christmas by Bing Crosby, or Christmas Time by The Darkness? Question three, if you counted all the gifts that were given in the song 12 Days of Christmas, how many gifts were given in total? Is it 78, 144, or 364? So if you counted all the gifts that were given in the song of the 12 Days of Christmas, how many gifts were given in total? Okay, question four. Put these Christmas songs in order from oldest to newest. So you've got three songs there. There's Silver Bells, Do You Hear What I Hear, and Jingle Bell Rock. Which one's the oldest through to which one's the newest? OK, 
question five. Who was the star of the Christmas movie, Jingle All the Way? Who was the star of the Christmas movie, Jingle All the Way? Question six. What is the name of the animated Christmas movie featuring Tom Hanks? What is the name of the animated Christmas movie featuring Tom Hanks? Question seven. What does Santa say at the end of a visit from St. Nicholas? What does Santa say at the end of a visit from St. Nicholas? Okay, question eight. What was the real department store featured in a Christmas movie and what movie? So the name of the real department store that's featured in a Christmas movie and which movie was it? Okay, question nine. Who banned Christmas in England between 1659 and 1681? Who banned Christmas in England? And finally, because of the colour of their uniforms, which UK bird were Victorian postmen named after, resulting in card illustrations showing these birds delivering letters at Christmas? So because of the colour of their uniforms, which UK bird were Victorian postmen named after? OK. So that is the end of our five rounds of quiz questions. Um, we will rattle through the answers. So um, if you're ready, back to round one for the answers of festive birds. Uh, question one, uh, turtle doves uh, get their name from their Latin name, which is Streptopelia turta. So it's named after, which is named after its call, which is a turta sound. So if you have anything to do with its Latin name or its call, then you Question two, uh, most likely blackbirds, as collie is an old word for black. Question three, the goldcrest is the UK's smallest bird. A goose will sit on its eggs for between 28 and 35 days. So if you've got anywhere between 28 and 35, I say that's a, that's a point. A baby sandpiper is called a peep, which is very cute. A peep. Snipes can make a drumming sound. Uh, it's true. That sound is created by the vibration of their tail feathers during their courtship flights. And it's true, swans will often paddle with one leg, resting the other leg on their back, which is thought to be a way of regulating their temperature. We're not just having fun, we're learning things, yay. <laughs> okay, uh, red-legged partridge, is not native to the UK, so that's false. They were introduced from France in the 1700s as a new game bird. Robin's eggs are blue. Um, wild turkeys, the answer is false. 
because they can actually reach speeds of 25 miles an hour. Okay. Right, round two answers. Let's see how your guessing was. If anyone actually knew the answer to any of these, I'd be very impressed. So um, the answer to question one, that species is Han Solo. Uh, the info here is that it's, it's a trilobite from the Han region of China and is the only single species in its genus, hence Han Solo. Not named after the Star Wars character. Okay, question two, that fungus is named after SpongeBob SquarePants. And it's scientific names on the screen there, Spongiforma SquarePants, yeah. Charles Darwin has 250 species named after him. And according to uh, Wikipedia, apparently they're mostly beetles. This giant salamander is a hellbender. It's a hellbender. A sidewinder is a type of snake and a firewalker is apparently a Fortnite character. Goblin beetle is not real. That's the only one that's not real. The Australian wasp is an ahaha. Ahaha. -ha. Ah -ha -ha. Uh, the Old English pheasant fowl is a chicken, so C is the answer to that one. So despite having pheasant in its name, it is a chicken, um, whereas the mountain chicken is a frog and the chicken turtle is a turtle. Uh, question eight, C is the answer. The chicken octopus is not real, which means the other two are. I've never heard of a wondrous octopus. Uh, question nine, that type of armadillo is a screaming hairy armadillo, of course. Perhaps the picture was a good enough clue. You can see it's hairy. Um, and apparently a pink fairy armadillo is also real. So but that one that you can see on the screen is a screaming hairy armadillo. OK, so B, dazzled clam, is not real. So there is a disco clam which bioluminesces brilliantly, but there's no dazzled clam. Um, for those who are interested, I'm sure you are, a tasseled wobbegong is a type of carpet shark and a sarcastic fringe head is a blenny with an expandable mouth. A blenny is, is a, a type of fish. So there you go. Um, a hutu is not a bird. So A is the correct answer for question 11. Hoopo is um, distinctive. It's a rare sighting in the UK, but you can see them sometimes. Um, and a potu is um, it's re related to night jars and frog mouths. Hulock gibbon is a skywalker gibbon. C is the right answer there. Uh, question 13 answer is B, Cthulhu. Um, if, if you know the Lovecraftian horror stories, um, maybe you got the answer. Maybe you guessed it right. The Raspberry Crazy Ant is named after Tom Raspberry, of course. Uh, Tom Raspberry was an exterminator who first noticed the ants increasing in numbers. Um, so there you go. And um, question 15, B, Taylor Swift does not have a species named after them. While she shares her name with Swifts, they are not named after her. Um, I'm going to go, I need to look up after this, what species is named after Beyonce and Lady Gaga. Um, I'm, I, I'm sad that I've not been provided the answer to that. I'm very intrigued to know. Okay, uh, round three answers then, the botanical Christmas. So these pictures, holly was the first one, mistletoe was the second one, 
Myrrh was the third one. A Christmas conifer, if you named any sort of common, commonly used Christmas, Christmas tree species, you can, you can have a point for that. And a point set here is a um, is question five. Question six, mistletoe grows as a parasite on other trees. So C is the correct one for that one. Uh, question seven. The Latin name for holly means bee with pointed leaves. Uh, question eight. The false statement there about ivy um, is that it's a parasite which damages and kills trees. A commonly thought uh, fact, which is actually not a fact at all. It's, it's not true. All of the other three statements there are true about ivy. Uh, question nine. Germany is um, the country where Christmas trees, the custom of Christmas trees came from. And of course, who eats the most Brussels sprouts? It is B, the British. Round four answers. Question number one. B, 80%. Question number two is B, the Pacific Garbage Patch. Question three, A, cigarette butts. Question four, B, 2%. I'm interested where that fact is coming from. I'm not sure if that's correct. Um, question five, C, 50%. Question six, D, 500 million. That is a lot of drinking straws. Uh, question seven, D between 70 and 90 percent. Question eight, C 75 percent. Question nine, A 46,000. And 10, D never. Plastic does not decompose. It just breaks down into smaller pieces. Okay. As that round is slightly depressing, it's another opportunity to shamelessly plug uh, our beach clean on Saturday the 15th of January. If you feel frustrated, frustrated by some of those facts, um, book yourself on to come and, come and help clean. Uh, we're, we're at Fourth Tricaster, which is a cable bay on Anglesey, Saturday the 15th of January. Visit the website, book your, book your space there. You'll also see on the website, on the Wildlife Trust website, there's a, a page about litter and wildlife um, and sort of actions that you can take. And also consider how you can have an eco Christmas as well. Um, there's lots of alternative ways of celebrating Christmas that don't involve creating huge amounts of plastic waste. Okay. And Finally, round five answers. Uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer was created C, 1939. The White Christmas by Bing Crosby is the top 10 Christmas song of all time. You would get C, 364 gifts if you counted all of the gifts given in the 12 days of Christmas. The songs go in order from oldest to, to newest. Silver Bells, Jingle Bell Rock, and Do You Hear What I Hear? So C is the answer. Arnold Schwarzenegger was the star in Jingle All The Way. 
The Polar Express was the Christmas movie featuring Tom Hanks. Happy Christmas to all and to all a good night is what Santa says at the end of a visit from St Nicholas. Macy's is the department store uh, and the movie is Miracle on 34th Street. My favourite Christmas movie. The Puritans and Oliver Cromwell and Christmas. And finally, Robin Redbreasts was the name given to Victorian postmen. So, I hope you all enjoyed that. Um, I think our live feed to YouTube might have dropped out fairly early on, but uh, we've, we've still got a good amount of you on here, so that's good. Um, yeah, thank you for joining us. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you learned something as well, some interesting facts there. Um, and if you're interested in more events, we've got more online events coming up. Um, there is, in fact, I think my colleague Caroline is doing an online event later this week. Um, so have a little look at that if you're interested. That'll be a really great talk. Um, and then there's other hopefully face-to-face -face events in the new year and that there'll be more online events no doubt um and if you're looking for last minute christmas presents perhaps you could consider um buying a gift of membership to north Wales wildlife trust for somebody else you can head to our website where all of our information is thank you very much everybody um any prizes for the worst score emma did you not do well <laughs> um what what was the general general scores in if you want to type your score in the uh, in the chat I'd be really interested to find out um, if we have any if we have any winners or if we have any losers by a long way if you want to share if you want to talk how you did Denise got twenty five. Oh, Adam, Nat and Claire, 33. Well done. 26, FI Emma. Cool. 31 with a lot of guessing. 30. Oh, everyone was pretty close. The scores are pretty close. 33. Interesting. Cool. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I will feed back to all of our quiz question, quiz question writers um yeah that you've all enjoyed the quiz so thank you very much um we'll we'll stop there uh wish you all a very merry christmas um and a happy new year and uh yeah i look forward to seeing you at future future wildlife trust events thank you very much right how do i how do i stop stop sharing and i'm going to end now thank you